All right, hello everybody. My name is Jokester1801, and welcome to today's Saturday special where we are continuing our Kirby and the Forgotten Land playthrough. So during the week we play Fire Emblem, and on Saturdays we're playing Kirby right now. Um, so yeah, we're continuing with Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Last week we came back from our three-week hiatus, and this week we're able to have another video, thank goodness, so we're just going to continue. Um, so we have done every world, or every level in Winter Horns, so now it's boss time. Let's go. Um, there's definitely some treasure roads we need to do as well at some point. If I need to search over here. Oh, hey, coin. Oh, another search area. More coins. Let's go. Search over here, I'm assuming. No? No searches. Surprising. An unexpected beast king. Alright. Let's go. Four hidden objectives. So we may end up doing this level, like, a lot. <laughs> um, there is... Probably the don't get hit objective. That's usually one of them. Um, one of them is usually like fight the boss using a certain ability or no ability at all. Both of those have been things. Um, usually it's one of the abilities presented. So the real question is which one? We're gonna go with Dragon Fire. Just because I really like that ability anyway. And now my cat has joined my lap. So you might hear me out. Um, can I come around here? Yeah. Um, he's also gonna make it difficult to not get hit. <laughs> Is that King DDD? No, Waddle D. No, buddy. Oh, those are like nasty looking foxes. It looks like the man, the myth, the legend, his royal nemesis, King DDD! Watch out! Take him out. Let's go. Ah, uh, he's trying to hit me with his hammer! Watch out, Kirby! Burn him with the fire! Burn him with the fire! Oh no! Ah, oh, he got me. I was hoping he wouldn't hit me. Ooh! Long range fire! Man, he really just has... He's kind of like a combination of a lot of the bosses, honestly. Fire, 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 fire. Oh man, he's coming, he's coming for me. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, that was close. Is this the final boss, then? What the? He just picked up that pillar like it was nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That was crazy! Oh, that actually hit me in the air, too. Watch out, Kirby! Watch out, Kirby! Owie! This guy's crazy! I might actually die here! Ow! Oh. All right, we got him right here. Let's go fire long-lasting effects. Wow, that that pillar part was crazy, though. <gasps> Blueprint? Clear without guarding. Oh, let's go. Oh, a homing bomb. That's cool. All right, so we got that objective. Did we get any other objectives, though? Doesn't look like it. <gasps> oh, we got another one. Clear within 130. Let's go. We got two of them. <laughs> King DDD's just walking in the background. Swallow his hammer. <laughs> What's he doing with that cage? <gasps> no, my buddy. No, he escaped with my buddy. We'll get you back, don't worry. I don't... 
I don't remember its name. It's like Elfinny or something like that. But we'll get him back. Oh wow, it's like really far away. Desert level, huh? So is King DDD just gonna be the boss from now on? <laughs> Original wasteland, huh? Alright, well, we're going... Oh, wow, that was actually pretty close. It's Elf Fillin. The waste where life began. Alright, well, we're going back. Oh, that's like a whole new continent. Wow, is this game gonna be like way longer than I thought it was gonna be? I mean, there's definitely more than just the one love, the one world on the Forbidden Island, right? I wonder if there's gonna be like eight worlds kind of thing. It's kind of like the Mario standard. All right, so we need to um, clear without getting hit. That actually sounds really difficult in this fight. Not gonna lie. We also need to swallow his hammer, so I'm just going to go in without a copy ability and try to swallow it. Of course, my cute cuddly cat on my lap is not making this easier. Alright, we're going to skip. Alright, so we nailed those guys. How do I swallow this game? Can I swallow it right here? Nope. Oh my gosh! Alright, well we didn't clear without getting hit. Because his dash attack always gets me. I wonder if he drops his hammer? I bet that's it. He probably drops it when he goes for the pillar. Alright, so we're just gonna clear this without a copy ability. Oh, man, that one's so hard to dodge. I wonder if I could just guard it, you know? I don't think guarding counts, though, for, like, the don't get hit. Okay, so I just have to jump quicker. Cool, that's good to know. Alright, now I can... S yep, there it is. So I swallowed his hammer, and the last one's definitely gonna be don't get hit. Man, I can't believe he comes at me with this pillar though. That was actually terrifying the first time. It still kind of is though, I mean, it's like super strong. Your giant pillar's got nothing on my hammer. Can we just kill him right here? Got him. I mean, we had already gotten hit, so it didn't matter too much anyway. Yay, coins! Alright, show me, don't get hit. Clear without taking any damage. Huh. Now that's interesting. Because guarding would count unless you took damage. Which I think you take damage when you guard. I definitely took some when I tried to guard one of his attacks. But we're gonna just try to clear it without getting hit. Now the problem with using the dragon fire is that it's pretty slow. Like, it's a slow start-up, slow finish. I wonder if we go the drill route. I feel like that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's go drill. Alright, I'm gonna skip this again. Do a nice little circle. This is a little bit harder for the drill because 
I'm not top down all the time. Like, I have a different perspective. And so it's harder for me to draw the circles. But, it's still working. Oh, I might get hit right here. Okay, didn't get hit. Whew, big shockwave. Oh, how did that not work? That should work. There we go. Now this is going to be the hardest part. We're doing pretty good so far, but this, this part's going to be really tricky to not get hit. Alright, so he's going to jump and attack. I think here we just kind of hit like that. Alright, we gotta get out of there. Whew, that was close. Alright, so now he's gonna try to hit us. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Alright, get the circle, get the circle! Get the circle! Let's go! Oh, that was close! Oh, man! Oh, he's gonna do the ice thing again. Oh, no! I'm in trouble! Oh, that was so close! I couldn't go to the side I was planning on going. Oh, man. Alright, gotta wait for him to start trying to whack us again. Yep, here we go. Alright, get the circle. Watch out! Ooh, nice. What's he doing? Shockwave? Okay, another shockwave attack. Probably gonna do ground smash. Okay. Can get a little damage there. All right, he's gonna try to whap us. Just go circle, circle. Nice hit. Let's go. First try with the drill. It's because I got so much practice with the twin frosties last video. <laughs> All right, there we go. All the hidden waddle D's for King DDD. So, like, are the hidden waddle are the waddle D's related to DDD at all? I don't, I don't really know the deep Kirby lore behind that. <laughs> Alright, a lot of times the boss battles will take us like half an hour to get 100% on, and we do not need that, so let's go. We saved all the Waddle Deeds in Winter Horns. Let's go. Alright, so we are... We got some blueprints. But we don't have enough rare stones to upgrade the bomb ability. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was the homing bomb that we could get. So we're going to do some treasure roads. Um, just kind of finish them all up. Roll up and throw. Oh, this would be cool, actually. So you, like, grab them and then you just throw. That's actually like a fun little trial using Kirby's ability. I'm ready. Yeah, this is so fun. I'm like grabbing them and throwing them. Get wrecked. We're kind of crushing this. I'm here for it. It's really fun, honestly. <laughs> Get hit by like six things. Let's go. Oh, I have to clear them all. Okay. Get hit by all the things. Wow, we like wrecked that. This is this one was probably my favorite treasure road so far. That this one of the time flash one, that was that one was really fun too. Wow, and we got ten seconds under the limit. We like never get that. That was super fun. That's fun just like hurtling, sending some enemies hurtling at the people. Alright, how many treasure roads do we have here? Um mm -hmm. 
It looks like we have four more. Cool. All right, pencil. All right, pencil drills. We're gonna go under. Grab that switch. Let's go. Go under. Come on. Gonna bypass him. Oh, interesting. I like clanked against the boxes. Or I clanked against the fence, that's what it was. We're just gonna kinda go under all of this. Cause I think Kirby moves faster going under. Got it, let's go. Ooh. Alright, almost there, almost there. Jump, and got him. Easy peasy. 47 seconds. Oh, we were two seconds over. Oh well, that's okay. I mean, all we miss is 50 coins when we miss the time, so it's really okay. So we're just gonna do all these treasure roads real quick, because they take like less than a minute, and... That way we don't have to come back for him. Oh, long shots. That's kind of cool. Alright, so I see the stone there. Oh, that was fun. There we go, got it. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Alright, is that it? Oh, okay. I was like, that was pretty quick. That's it. I felt like the rapid fire, just shooting, was quicker than um, trying to do the charge shot. I might have been wrong about that. I have to hit him multiple times. Is that it? Oh man, what a tease. Now they're shooting at me. What a reversal of rolls. Easy peasy. No way did we get the time for that though. That was really fun though. It really showed that like the charge shot's really good. Whoa, we nailed that time. All right, that was way more forgiving than I thought. <laughs> like I felt like I was going fast, but not like within the time fast. Cause these are usually pretty, pretty tricky. Like the pencil drill, I felt like I was going pretty fast, but then I missed it by two seconds. All right, tornado time. I forget what the difference is between the first and second stage of Tornado, but... Alright, that was pretty chill. Pretty easy again. Alright, pretty easy again. I love the tornado's ability to like go over water like this though. Alright, see so this one was more difficult. No, I missed it. Dang it. No, come back. No. Alright. This is not easy. I think what I need to do is wait. I don't think I'm gonna get the time for this one. Grab it. Oh, let's go. Whew. My finger slipped. Go, 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 go! Nailed it. I don't think I got the time, but we did make it, so that, that works. Wow, 30 seconds! Yeah, that last stage really just kicked us in the butt. Alright, last treasure road. Carmouth! Oh, Carby time! I love Carby. I honestly think it's the most fun. Cause you can just like go super fast. 
That's so cool. All right, Carby, let's take him. Zoom! Get out the way! Oh, okay, I have to be careful with these. So the monsters kind of slow me down. Um, and so I, I'm trying to do less of them. Oh no! Ooh, I almost fell off! Oh no! Oh no! Move, Carby, move! Wow, that was some crazy driving, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh man, I only have 30 seconds. Oh, I had to have jumped again. There we go. Wow, this is super cool. We're just going on those conveyor belts. So there's no way I made the time, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Wow, I actually wasn't that far off the time though. Three seconds, not bad. All right, so let's go back and um, do the upgrade. And then, let's see, did we treasure road this? So we missed two in Winter Horns. I guess we could go find them real quick. Okay, there's a search. This is probably it right here. Alright, let's see what's inside. It's Meta Knight Sword. Oh, we love the Meta Knight Sword. I think it's super fun, especially when you're at full health and you can do the like long slashes that just keep going. Alright, I'm fighting the boss. Yeah, the long range slashes, super good. Easy peasy. Man, this sword is so much fun. That's so cool. Get wrecked. I am the true swordsman. You've got nothing on me. Y'all are fake swordsmen. I am the true Meta Knight. I'm really not, because Meta Knight's the true Meta Knight, I guess. I don't know. That's more deep Kirby lore, I don't really know. <laughs> All right, time for the boss sword guy. Oh no, I lost my, I lost my slashes, my long range slashes. So sad. All right, get wrecked. All right, well that's pretty chill. Did we do it fast enough? One, wow, we got 13 seconds. Faster. That, that's probably our record, right? 13 seconds? Hmm. It's a good amount of time, either way. Alright, so there's one of the hidden ones. Let's see if we can find the other one. Alright, so... Over here, the water? No? Over here? Aha! Uh -huh, here we go. Oh, that was not it. Okay, what about around here? Maybe around here? Just, you know, trying to find the last treasure road. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Should have should have guessed the tree standing by itself, huh? <laughs> light bulb! Oh, light bee! I think the light bulb's pretty fun. I like the thing they did with the ghosts that basically yeah we're about to see it right here like they basically only were activated if you illuminated but you needed to illuminate to see where you're going oh man i need to go the right way good thing they had a sign ow what the heck just hit me oh some spikes Go, 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 go. These guys, those are the ones who are like activated by light. What? How did I miss that jump? <laughs> okay, wait. I have to wait now? Oh my goodness. Alright. Here we go. Watch out for the spikes. Alright, you gotta watch out for this one here. Hopefully choosing the left is okay. I wonder if I could just go past them. Oh. 
Man, I needed to choose a left. I was wondering if, like, maybe they... Because I saw a platform behind the middle. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe they put in, like, a extra secret sign. Alright, let's just... Oh, see? I was like, let's just do the sign, try to avoid, you know, going the wrong place. And that was what I needed to do, because I would have definitely gone right. Alright, you gotta watch out for these spikies. Whew! I think we were so close to getting hit by them. Go, Kirby, go! Let's go. Oh, that was actually really fun. That was tricky, but fun. Wow, you're supposed to do a 110? That's crazy. Alright, I think that's enough treasure roads. Um, we got all the ones in white winter horns, so I'm here for that. And now we have like seven rare stones, so now we can go upgrade the bomb, and we should have enough to upgrade something else whenever we get that upgrade. The bomb can now be evolved. Let's go. Yes, upgrade my bombs, please. A homing bomb blueprint. This could be fun. Alright, let's see how it is. So we're gonna go over here, upgrade it to the homing bomb. Got more rapid fire and more power. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Alright, gonna skip that. The homing bomb. So, how does it home? Oh, <gasps> Yo, what the? Look at that! It legit is like a little homing bomb. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Alright, we're taking it into our next fight. Next level, we're going homing bomb. Alright, let's go start the Forbidden Island. We finished BDD and the Rival Island Continent, and so now we can travel on to the Forbidden Island. We didn't finish DDD. We we fought him and he ran away with Elfinin. Elfinin? Elfinin? Something like that. Let's go to the Forbidden Island. Alright, three Waddle Dees. Right, I'm looking up how many Kirby worlds in the Forgotten Kingdom. There's six main worlds. All right. So this is number five. What is that? Oh, it's a coin. Oh, look, the, the foxes have evolved. Man, the, the music's intense. Oh, the homing bombs continued their little thing um, from the other, the linked bombs. Alright, that guy's got a chest. Oh, there's like stuff over here, huh? Alright, alright, we got, got some, got some diamonds. Oh, it looks like I need the marksman ability, so let me... Looks like there's one right there. We can just snag that. Oh no, come back! Hmm. Nailed it. Alright, another diamond. Wait, didn't the marksman from before reappear? I think we'd go find him. I think there was one back here. I thought I had dropped the ability, and then as I was pressing the attack button, I realized I didn't <laughs> drop the ability. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now we're the ranger. I will say, the homing bombs were fun. The homing ability really made them more fun, not gonna lie. Hello? Shoot three flying targets. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, so maybe we should just hold on to the Noble Ranger ability then. 
What is that? All right, ring bee time. I knew it. I knew I'd be able to clear the sand. All right, so we've gotten three of these diamonds. Oh, hello. Guess there's stuff up here, huh? Defeat the Lost Squishy. Okay, cool. That's two of my hidden objectives. Ow. Yeah. Oh no! Ooh. Did we get? Oh, we got it. That's cool. Alright, so now we just need one more diamond. Alright, let's get these sardines. Oh, there's a flying target right there. Oh, for a moment I was like, oh no! It blocked the ring! But we good. Alright, so there's a flying target. And gave us collectible. Nice. Ow. Alright. Oh, hidden area over here. <gasps> Alright, there's the last uh, diamond. Oh. Ah, uh, we gotta fight Florina again. Our least favorite. Wow, that did so much damage. Let's go. Ow. I figured I'd get hit. Ah, get wrecked. Go, go, go! Watch out! Finish her! Come on! Quick, quick, quick! We're almost there, almost there, almost there! Got him. Easy peasy. Get out of here, Needle. Alright! Oh, there's a hidden waddle D up there, too. Oh, that's how all of those diamonds were for one hidden waddle D. Oh, that's pretty intense, honestly. Alright, got a collectible, though. Is that the first hidden waddle D? Yeah, that is. Alright, well, that's good. And just. Oh, a little chest over here. Cool. <gasps> Blueprint! <gasps> The Needle ability! You got the Crystal Needle blueprint. Pretty cool. Alright, so this is about where we were. Oh, I need the ring though. What the? What are y'all doing up here with the beach ball? Random. Alright, let's go grab... I don't... Do I need the ring anymore? I feel like I don't. But we're gonna grab it just in case I do. Can I clear up this toxic crap? I cannot clear up the poisonous fumes. Alright, so it looks like I didn't need the ring, which is what I thought, but I figured I'd grab it just to make sure. But I still need one more flying target though. So hopefully it's here and I didn't miss it, because that would be sad. Alright, so that's gonna fall on me, right? And then this one's gonna fall. And then this one's gonna fall too. Might as well get the meat. Alright, this is gonna fall. Hello? You gonna fall? All three are gonna fall? Cool. Alright, looks like I need the cone. Or I just make this thing fall on me. Oh, I need the ring. That's really what I need. Oh, and it's right up there. Okay, cool. So I use the ring to get rid of the sand, so then the pillar can fall, and so I can get the chest. Yeah, that's gonna fall now. Boom. And here's another chest. More blueprints? Oh, a hidden model D. Let's go. Just as good. Hmm, not just as good. It's still helpful. Yay! Coins and a collectible.
All right. Just gonna bypass that. Bypass this one. And I have to do the same thing as I did over there. Ooh. Oh, hey, hidden world or hidden part. Gonna be where my last uh, target is. I'm just gonna let the one in front of me fall. Yep, because it was already falling. Alright, so I'm gonna let those fall. Then I'm gonna use the wind from over here to let those fall. Oh, last in Model D, nice. Let's go, got all three of them. Alright, now we're back here. Last my target is gonna be up here. Whoa, those things have some big mouth. Need one more hidden target. Did I really miss it? Why'd be so sad? Oh, it looks like I missed it. Well, I guess I can get rid of that beach ball. Alright, so we got all the hidden model Ds though, at least. Defeat Florina using Ring Mouth! Oh, interesting. How am I supposed to get up there, though? Like, I had to spit it out to get up there. Hmm. That's interesting. Hi. Oh hey, another treasure road. Well, we're not going to do that because we did enough treasure roads today. <laughs> Alright, so we need to find these three flying targets. I wonder if I missed one in the beginning or something. I feel like I noticed the first one though. I don't know. Might as well grab the coin. I feel like the first one is probably around here. I can move the camera more than I thought. Any any hidden targets? There one up here. I'm like deep into the <laughs> parts of this map. Doesn't look like there's any. Is this just blueprint? Oh, it's just damage. It's just led to a hidden water thing, so I don't actually need it. Maybe it's like over here? You know, something like over here? This, this seems promising. There it is! Got it. Alright, that was pretty nice coinage. And then there's one up here. And I know the third one was like... Okay, that's not what I meant to do. There it goes. Oh, I missed? Awkward. And just... There we go. I know the third one was around here somewhere. Is this just coins? Oh, it's just that. The... Oh, it was like up here, yeah. It was with the pillars. Alright, there's the three flying targets, cool. But now we just have to fight Florina with a ring. The real question is how? But she's like up here.
I just don't know how to get up there. Oh, can I like kind of go up here or something? Oh, let's go. I don't even know if I have to like beat her with the room, but um, pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Defeat her using the ring. That went pretty well, if I say so myself. <laughs> that was just total, total wreckage. Alright, well, let's just uh, blow through the rest of the level because we nailed it. All right, that, that took me less time to figure out than I thought it would, if I'm being honest. Because I, I felt like it was going to be like some weirdly hard thing to like get up there with the ring, but I guess this is a children's game and I forget that sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're not going to get the like little holes in the wall or holes in the ground thing because there's no point. Back, back. All right, that's pretty chill. All right, and that should be it, right? Let's go. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, and there's all the hidden model Ds for that level. Let's go, a cabo. I didn't know that's what those were called. Good to know. <laughs> all right, well, might as well do one of these treasure roads because <gasps> the gigantic sword. Uh, that way we don't have to do them all at once, like we just did with the ice. Plus, they're pretty fun. It's not often we get to use the gigantic sword. Because the Meta Knight sword is just better. Oh, I can charge it up? Come at me. Get wrecked! What? How'd they stop me? I like how the sword kills things in one hit, but it doesn't seem like it does. Alright, let's do this. Boom! Oh, how did I miss? Like, look, the sword kills stuff in one hit, most of the time, like if it's a smaller enemy. But then it doesn't make it seem like it's dead. Now uh, we're chilling, we're chilling. Wild Edge time. Wild Edge. And Wild Edge. What if I like drop my ability and suck one up? Would it give me the Gigantic Sword or would it give me the Meta Knight Sword? Uh, oh, it didn't let me suck it up. It just immediately disappeared. Well, we got hit pretty good, but we, got, we finished them pretty quick. Alright, easy peasy. Yeah, we did it quick enough. Let's go. Alright, well... We'll do one last rare stone, and then that'll be it for today's episode. We didn't have enough time to do the last, uh, or to do the next level, so I figured I'd just save it for the next time. Um, but I figured since we're here, might as well just do the the rare stones. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, going, trying to do it with the air attack is definitely quicker.
Oh. Just gonna bypass you. And there we go. Alright, we nailed it. And wow, got it. Let's go. One second away. Easy. <laughs> All right, that'll be it for today's episode. Um, started off the Forbidden Island. It looks like so we should have like this desert world and then one world after that. And then I think we're done. So that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for joining us. And we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, let's go. The needle ability can be evolved. I forgot about that. All right. Now, thanks for joining us. Now, can't wait to see you next time. <laughs>